Hello, welcome to Robin on the Farm. I never, ever, ever buy bread. And that's because I have a great supply of recipes that I put on rotation. And I also have every ingredient that I need to make all kinds of bread always on hand in my home. That's because I'm prepared. I like to store these things. Um, and that's part of having a prepper pantry. You have everything that you need to make a wide variety of meals and staples like bread. Um, I also have some bread making skills and that's something that I've developed over the years. And a lot of it is just trial and error. And now I have some really great recipes that I have truly tested and tried. Um, and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite ones. Today I'm gonna share with you um, a French bread recipe. And it is so simple, it's so easy, it only has five ingredients. Um, sometimes people get intimidated by yeast breads, and I don't really know why that is. I feel like they're very, very easy. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this French bread. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. I think it's amazing. This French bread is great for um, eating with your soups, um, your spaghettis, any kind of pasta. Um, it makes really great French toast later on. Um, you can make garlic bread out of it. This is just a really great French bread recipe and it's super simple. It's super fast to make. To make this French bread, I decided to pull out my baby Bosch. I also have the big regular Bosch mixer that you can make like six or eight loaves of bread in. But this is my baby Bosch. Um, you, if I'm gonna be making two loaves or less, sometimes I'll just pull this out. It's just smaller and easier to deal with. Um, when I first started making breads forever ago, 20 years ago, I used the KitchenAid mixers. Um, I, I used um, vintage ones and I even used the professional grade ones. And I went through a lot of those. I burned them up. I'd be mixing up some bread in my kitchen and all of a sudden I start hearing this terrible, terrible sound and it would be the gears, um, the gears were all messed up. And then I'd look over and there'd even be like smoke coming from it. So. I switched over to the Bosch's um, a while ago and I have had not had any issues at all. I feel like they have stronger motors um, because I do make a lot of bread. I do wear out things, but I haven't worn out a Bosch yet. So I have this baby one and I have the regular one. I love them both. I really like KitchenAids for um, cookie doughs and that kind of thing. But anyway, to make this French bread, it's super simple. There's only five ingredients. Um, all you need is flour, all purpose flour, um, works great. You could use bread flour. You can use it really anything, but I use all, pur all purpose flour. Um, you're going to need a little bit of sugar and you're going to need some yeast and some salt and some water. And that's it. That's all that this recipe has in it. Um, French bread is considered a lean dough, so it doesn't have any fat in it. Um, so let me just show you how to make it. I'm just going to put all these things into my baby Bosch. Um, we're going to start with one and a quarter cups of warm water. I just always turn my tap on all the way to hot, let it get pretty much as hot as it will. I can still stick my fingers under it. It's not gonna burn me. So I know it's not too hot for my yeast. Okay, once you have your water in there, you're gonna do two teaspoons of sugar. That's not very much sugar. It's just to kind of activate your yeast. Whenever you have yeast, sugar helps it activate a little bit quicker, um, helps you with your rise. So two teaspoons of sugar, um, and then let's see, two teaspoons of yeast. I keep this yeast in my freezer all the time. I just pull it out. You don't have to dethaw it or do anything or give it any time. Just pull it right on out and get it out and use it. Okay, two teaspoons of yeast, just right on in there in the bowl. Um, this is active dry yeast. Okay, and then two teaspoons of salt. So it's super easy. One and a quarter cups water, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of yeast, two teaspoons of salt. Okay, and three cups of flour. And there's nothing special about how to do it. With this bread, it's super forgiving. Just scoop your flour put it in your mixer and go. I don't have time for special sifting or 
anything too complicated. I have kids and a family and a farm to run. I need my bread to be fast and easy. So, um, okay, we have all of the ingredients in the bowl. Now I'm just gonna get it started. I'm gonna let that go for about six minutes on two. This is what your dough will look like about a minute or two after you start mixing it. And then this is what you want it to look like at the end. This is what you're looking for. Okay, it's been mixing for about six minutes and it looks great. Let me see if I can show you. I forgot to mention I do have my dough hook. Excuse me. I do have the dough hook on the Baby Bosch. It's actually called a Bosch Compact. It's not really a Baby Bosch. I just call it the Baby Bosch, but it's a compact Bosch. So here is the dough. You can see it. It looks smooth and nice. Not sticky at all, which is nice because it's a lot easier to work with. I am just going to leave this dough in the bowl. I'm going to get a warm, wet rag, drape it on top and I'm gonna let it rise in the bowl for 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. It didn't rise a ton, but it rose out. It got bigger, it pretty much did double in size. Um, so that's what we were looking for. Now I'm gonna take a baking sheet. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna get this out onto the counter. Okay, so it looks great. Now I just need to press it down. Get all the air bubbles out. Okay. Looks good. Now I am just going to kind of press it out a little bit, kind of get it the right, um, the right size. So you know, you want it to be kind of long, so pull it out a little bit. Okay, looks good. Now I'm just gonna roll it up. Hopefully you can see that. Just kind of roll it and then kind of pinch the ends. Kind of smooth them out. There's no real science to this. You just kind of want it to be a log. Just imagine a French loaf. Okay, I'm just going to stick this on this bread pan and I'm going to let it rise for another 20 minutes and I'll show you at that point. Okay, here's our French bread so far. It just rose another 20 minutes. Now I'm going to do an egg wash on it. Now this egg wash is going to give it that nice brown kind of glossy look on the outside. You don't have to do this step, but it will never quite look right. It won't quite look like what you think of when you think of French bread. So I think this is a kind of an important step. All you need is an egg and a teaspoon of water. And then I'm just gonna brush it on there with this. So I'll show you. Just crack an egg, a whole egg, add a teaspoon of water. beat it up with a fork so it looks looks like that if you can see it okay oh and I preheated my oven to 375 so it's ready to go all right so I'm gonna just really 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 gently like you don't want to press on this French bread or it might collapse so just want to gently Put this egg wash all over it. And wherever you put this, it's gonna turn that nice golden color. It's not gonna change the flavor or anything. It's just gonna kind of give it kind of an even nicer, crisper crust too. Just kind of paint this all over it. So that's all that is. And see, there's a lot left. Okay, so there that is so far. The next part is to cut some strips in it. These are kind of like vents. Cut some vents in it. It also gives it a really pretty look. Kind of lets the steam to release, but it also looks pretty when you're done. Okay, so there it is. It's 
ready to go in the oven. Um, and I'm pleased with it so far, so let's see how it looks when it's done. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees for 25 minutes. Okay, our bread's out of the oven. Look at that, isn't it so pretty? I just love it. This is like such a pretty French bread. Um, it looks like something straight out of France. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it, even though it's almost too pretty to cut into. So it cooked at 375 for 25 minutes. You can see it? It's still really hot, steaming hot. Okay, so there it is. Let me take a little, a little bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely perfect. It's perfect French bread.